This is also a collab with Mia Bivenauer, so make sure you go check her channel out. I will leave the video up here or her channel link, and I'll also leave it in the description so you guys can see how she cleans all of her enclosures. Hey guys and welcome back to the video. In today's video I'm going to be cleaning my animals enclosures. If you are a dedicated subscriber you might want to stay for this portion of the video because I'm going to be updating you guys. If you're basically just a new subscriber or you're just coming around to see what this video is actually made for then you can skip to right here and that's the start of the cleaning process. So, a few updates for my new subscribers. First of all, I'd like to shout out my subscribers that are wearing my merch. So this is a picture of Sean and Daniel. Sean is the one wearing the sweatshirt and Daniel's the one wearing the short sleeve shirt. So thank you guys for purchasing my merch and it looks great. All right, so here's the downside of the updates. So, you know, cue the black and white filter and cut the music. So as you guys know, I uploaded a video a while ago, not too long ago, but like a month ago on my beta sorority tank. Unfortunately, all those beta fish passed away. So here's the whole story, just basically a summary. What happened was I thought it was an aggression issue. I was monitoring the tank to make sure there was no aggression between them or if there was like any odd one that wasn't getting along with the others. It wasn't until shortly after where I saw one of them on top of the water completely dead. That whole day I watched them to make sure there was no aggression and still everything looked fine. So at this point I was kind of skeptical and kind of more so thinking that it might be a bacterial infection. The next day rolls around and like two fish are dead. So I'm getting very concerned. I go to PetSmart and I get the water tested and everything is still fine. As the days went on they all started dying and I didn't really know what was going on. I went to the store, I bought every medicine I could, I asked people. I researched, I treated the water, I did everything that I possibly could to get them better or keep them alive, but unfortunately, I've come to the conclusion that it was a bacterial infection from one of the fish and they all ended up getting it. My pleca was still alive, which is on the brighter side, but unfortunately, the rest of them are gone. I deleted the video because I was just really like aggravated and at that time, I was like, I just don't wanna own any more fish and now that I have the axolotl, I'm like very extra with her, so I make sure like everything's, you know, set right and I make sure I check everything like daily I don't play around with her it's just that I'm in a sensitive spot with beta fish right now and I just like in it I was in a discouraged phase so that's why I deleted the video so if you're wondering hey where's your beta sorority tank it is gone I have the pleco in another tank in my kitchen right now so he's living lavish he's completely fine and he survived the plague or whatever happened in that tank anyway on the brighter side I got a new reptile so yes, I got a leopard gecko and his name is Chimichanga for now. I'm bad with names, I'm not really original, so sorry. We also got a pit bull. <laughs> we named him Aries. He's a eight week old now, probably. He's probably like nine weeks old. He's a nine week old puppy. So let's get into the video. All right, guys, so we are cutting right to the voiceover. I haven't done one of these in a while, so this is pretty exciting. But anyway, so what I'm doing right here is I'm taking all of Fitz's decorations out, and I am vacuuming her tank because the old calcium gets under the carpet, on top of the carpet. And now I am just spraying down Fitz's tank because it can get dirty sometimes. You know, with the... Uh, food and whatever that is I actually have no clue at all what that may be interesting <laughs> Fitzley's on the hammock so I don't know maybe she licked it or had some food on her face because she uh has food on her face sometimes this is really weird like I don't know how to act anyway so now I am putting the carpet cleaner on Fitz's rug and this is like a really good carpet cleaner guys like I highly recommend this it works wonders and I mean the salt and vin no the vinegar solution works really good but this one gets more of the tough stains out and now I'm just wiping the sides only of Fitz's water bowl with vinegar just in case anything got on them and I'm doing the same with the hammock and now I'm just going to be putting everything back into place as it was. And I'm also going to be filling up Fitz's water bowl. And putting Fitz back in her tank. Oh, by the way guys, I'm getting Fitz a new tank soon, so what an upgrade. So this is the final reveal of Fitz's new clean tank.
All right, so we're moving on to Calypso, my Crested Gecko. I know some of you ace for him, some of you don't even know who Calypso is. But this is my Crested Gecko who has a frog butt. You know, his tail fell off and everyone clowned me for it. But yeah, that is him, her. I don't know the gender. But right now I am taking out the plants. I have so many of these and they're like trapped with dirt. So that's why I'm shaking everything out like a weirdo. So I do this with multiple decorations. Yep, there goes the log, shaking the dirt out. And now I'm just misting down Calypso's tank. I mist it down every day, but I usually do a deep misting, you know, where I move the dirt and everything and get it real moist in there. And I'm just wiping Calypso's side because he loves to just hop right in his food bowl and then get it on top of the glass and everything. And then I just wash the plants and I don't wash any of my wood at all. If I notice there's like, if there would be any parasites or anywhere, I'd probably just like throw it out. And now there's this little, you know, bin at the bottom of Calypso's bowl that you just saw me put a paper towel in. That's the bowl he came in, and I put it in there so we can feel somewhat of his old home, but that turned into a litter box for him. And then I washed his other decorations, so what I'm putting over there is the food bowl, and then I'm putting a hammock. Then you could see me fondle the plants for about an hour because I couldn't get it on the hook. Well, I edited the hour part out, but I definitely was there, like forever trying to fix the plant. And now Chimichanga, the new leopard gecko I got. So I really don't need to clean his tank because he's fairly new. Um, I wanted to take him out to show you guys. He loves giving kisses, so he loves licking me. Yeah, he's so cute. <coughs> So what I'm doing right now is I'm just like fixing some stuff because usually the tree is against the glass but the water bowl gets in the way sometimes so I'm just fixing all of that and then I'm pouring some new water into the water bowl and then soaking up the calcium that chimichanga has spilled. And here I'm trying to show you chimichanga but he wasn't there. I mean he was but it was too dark. And this is his tank. And then I decided why not take care of the crickets and the deceased ones that are just sitting in that container. And here you see Kit Kat, you know running into everything so what I have in here is I usually have a lot of egg cartons but I didn't have it this time and some paper towels and some old vegetables because the crickets have passed away sadly and have been eaten but I'm just basically cleaning everything out and dumping all of their leftover poop into the trash can and then I'm just going to be getting another paper towel soaking it a little bit so oh this time I'm soaking it so I can wash it down and then usually I would soak a paper towel so it stays its form inside the container but that one did pretty well dry so yes and these are the three Eugenes these are my three hermit crabs that I have and they are still fairly small so they are baby hermit crabs I usually feed them in the morning so that's why there's no food in there I had cleaned it out earlier so now I'm just basically digging in the dirt to find them to show you guys because they love to burrow. So they're all named Eugene. And then I go through a really tough misting because their tank dries out extra quick. As you saw before, I started taking everything out. Everything was almost dry because, I don't know, the tank just easily, you know, dries out. So it's really hard to keep it very moist. So I kind of have to do this process almost every night like which means you know moisten up the dirt and everything so basically what I did was I just took everything out moistened up the dirt rinsed everything off and then I have the hermit crabs in there so yeah they're little kiwis For Mishu, my axolotl, her cleaning is pretty, pretty simple. So what I do is I just take a turkey baster or whatever you want to call it and I just suck up the old feces and old dirt that was in her tank and I do that daily so really not much here. <laughs> Okay, and now for Kit Kat, I'm just pretty much emptying out her litter box of any leftover poop or pee. And I didn't really show you that because I thought it was kind of disgusting, so I didn't want to, you know, make this explicit. 
And then I'm going towards her cat condo, which Aries is under. So what I do for her cleaning, I just vacuum around it because she loves to rip up the rug. And then I fix her food and water bowl because sometimes she'll spill it or it will be the dog spilling everything. <laughs> and then I'll, you know, sort everything out and make sure I clean up the pet toy box so everything can be organized even though it just gets ripped up the next 10 minutes but that is fine and then i put kick ass food up there only because the dog likes to eat the cat food and he's done this many times and i don't need him getting sick over kitten food when he is a puppy and that is pretty much the kit kat condo she ripped the ice cream that was hanging off that blue string there <laughs> And now Aries, all I do is just straighten up his food and water bowl and put his toys away. I didn't want to film me cleaning up his pee pads because he's still in potty training and I thought that was nasty. Okay guys, so I hope you all enjoyed this video of me cleaning and how I basically clean my animals enclosures. Literally every single one of them. If you haven't checked out Mia's channel, you should go do that right now. The link will be in my description and thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next video.